So this time I wanted to show how the RSS value is three times the standard deviation or the three sigma and I'm taking the tolerance terms of a resistor to define a variable called tall for the Monte Carlo analysis that LT Spice will run and then I'm taking that tolerance value dividing it by three and using it as the standard deviation that gets plugged into the Gauss function that LT Spice runs and I'm normalizing this with a uh, network that is a one amp current source into a one ohm resistor so the resulting numbers come out as the tolerance and standard deviation numbers without any multiplication factors and when you run that simulation Sp LT Spice will graph the results in the uh, window above here and you will want to bring that into a spreadsheet to help you calculate and graph the results in a way that's more meaningful and so you will export that data the standard deviation node and the Monte Carlo node into a file I called Spice Monte Carlo Gauss functions. I've already done that, so I'm just going to cancel that. We're going to go to the spreadsheet that I've made to show this. And on the left side is the results of the Spice simulation. Uh, it's easy to get into a spreadsheet. You just open the text file that Spice created when you exported the data from the raw file and you just open that and it will come in as a tab delimited file and you will select this data and copy it into this spreadsheet additionally on this spreadsheet I've entered all the error terms that I used in the simulation had it calculate what the RSS value of those error terms are and then dividing that RSS calculation by three this is the standard deviation that the simulation should come up with and then down here um, I've had it calculate the minimum and maximum for the Monte Carlo analysis and the standard deviation analysis and then I've had it calculate the standard deviation of the simulation results of the standard deviation column so the standard deviation of the simulation results 0 0.01836 came out very close to the expected 0 0.01825 results or 826 results and that uh, I think pretty well verifies that the Gauss function does a normal distribution um, and the Monte Carlo function um, when you do the RSS and plug in the Monte Carlo function you get three times that um, standard deviation result and the other thing that's useful to do which I didn't show before was how to plot this um, LT Spice says you get an even distribution from the absolute minimum to the absolute maximum on the Monte Carlo 
and you should get a normal distribution on the standard deviation uh, or, or the Gauss function when you plug in the standard deviation. And if we plot those in a histogram, um, it, it shows up kind of very nicely uh, graphically as well. So the first thing you want to do is uh, figure out what the bin range should be. So I'll make a column called bin range. And we'll start from a minimum uh, 0 0.93. So that should be our minimum value. 0 0.93. And we'll try to make it as granular as possible without getting ridiculous. So we will say I2 plus say 0 0.025 and we will try to cover that entire range all the way to 1.07066 Copy that in. One point so let's uh I'm off by a zero. Okay, zero zero two five. Let's we'll see what we get here. looking like it might be better. So we'll go a little farther. There we go. I don't know where these came from, so we'll get rid of those. Get rid of that border. Okay. So I think we've covered the bin range with pretty good granularity without getting completely ridiculous. So the next step is to get this to plot your data um, is have the data analysis package installed or added and uh, select a histogram and your input range for the Monte Carlo function will go from B2 to B5002 and our bin range is from I2 to I59 um, we want to output on this sheet just to make our life a little easier and we'll put it right here on K1 and let's have it chart the output for us and so when we do that here's my Monte Carlo function and you can see you know it's not perfectly flat but it's it's pretty flat and goes from a minimum value to a maximum value with pretty much constant you know distribution across the whole thing and let's drag that off to here now you want to do the same thing on the Gauss function that gave us the standard deviation numbers and select histogram again and this time the only difference is column C instead of column B for the input range and I'm going to put that data same bin range, output range we're going to put right there column N we'll have it chart that data and there you have that. 
looking more like a normal distribution. So you can kind of see um, how the two functions in SPICE work and you can see it graphically. And because the Gauss function gives this normal distribution, it's useful for the Six Sigma analysis. Um, if you just wanted to see how you might have sensitivities from absolute everything worst case in one direction or the other, um, you can use the Monte Carlo function. Works out pretty well for that. And this is how you would show uh, a histogram in Excel uh, because it's nice to see them graphically as well. So that's about it. Um, I'm not sure that there's anything more to say about it. Um, it's pretty straightforward.